got the top lineup of drivers here today. Included in the lineup are three from Holland. If you see them, it's number eight, Friedhelm Belters, number 10, Pete Katzler, and 217, George Klunder. And of course, the top drivers from England are all here and just raring to go. Mike Close, of course, is trying to uh, recapture the title that he won here last year. Well, now it's, of course, a graded start. The star men have to start right at the very back. The white tops go from the front. There we are. They're the lower grade drivers as the green flag goes down on this European Championship final of 1983. And there's a few problems, as you can see, on that first bend as the over-anxious star men at the front put the pressure on. And, of course, the white tops at the front get pushed out. Trouble down there, and 53, I can see, is in there. John Lund, 175, Glenn Percy is in there as well. John Lund, you remember, was the guy who, in fact, won that uh, World Championship semi-final at Sheffield on Monday. He was obviously hoping to go well today, but now he's a long, long way back. So, inevitably, at the moment or two, we've got some white top drivers down the front. In fact, the leader currently is the uh, 271 car of Mark Carrington, local driver from Northampton. And in this event, the stars, the best drivers, of course, having to start at the back. And that's the man they're currently chasing, the white top 271. And already you can see he's flashing past one or two slower cars, a couple there in the safety fence as well. But a chance here for a white top perhaps to make a name for himself if he can break away early on. But the uh, star men will be sorting themselves out further back, settling down, getting themselves together, beginning to look for the gaps and uh, starting to work their way through. It is, in fact, a 30-lap event, so they've got plenty of time. They can afford to let some of the others go, uh, albeit that they go, in fact, onto the grass and into the dust, which isn't really very uh, helpful. There's 51, Mo Smith. But that's the man who's up front at the moment, 271. In fact, who's now dropped down a place. 269 has now gone uh, flashing past John Rogers. Another Northampton driver has now taken it up. So 269 is, in fact, now the leader. But it's still those white tops who have the advantage of, of course, starting at the front of the grid. Now, the field for this race, in fact, comprises the top 20 point scorers in the national points chart. There are 10 other cars, indeed, who come from a qualifying race held here earlier this afternoon, and the three drivers from Holland. So that's the situation. As we look at the lap sheets now, we've got seven laps gone. 269 is the leader, John Rogers. 271 is in second place, Mark Carrington. Those are the first two at the moment. Looking back further down the sheet, I think it's uh, 303 is next, and then 199. 203, rather. Uh, that's, of course, Danny Clark from Kettering. So that's the 123. We've still got a long way to go. Eight laps gone. And it's 269 in there. That's uh, problems there, I'm afraid, for that uh, car in the safe defence. He's not going to go a lot further because, indeed, he's got steering problems just to add to everything else. The star grade drivers have the roofs of their cars painted red, so it's very easy for you to see those top men who are trying to catch up the white tops and, indeed, some of the blues that are in there as well. There's 269. Back to now dropped to second place as 203. Danny Clark has now moved into the lead. There he is, 203. Danny Clark. Now he's right on form as well because in fact he succeeded in winning the qualifying race that we had here just before this big race started. And that's how he got himself into this final. So still 203, 269, and 271. A blue top leading two white grade drivers. The star men are still a little way back. If we can pick up where some of the star men are further back. 55, Burke Finnegan is quite some way back. 212, Frankie Wayman is still there. But they're about seventh and eighth sort of places at the moment. 269 is the man who in fact is in second place and they're trying to catch. 203, there he is, is the guy in front at the moment. And he's going to take some catching. I saw him uh, the other week up at Long Eaton and he was really flying then and he went very well in this qualifying early on. There's Burt Finnegan in car number 55. Comes from Leek in uh, Staffordshire. And he again, a very experienced driver. He goes well on either shale or tarmac. And uh, he's feeling himself very much at home here on the Rayfield Raceway this afternoon. So there we are, there's Danny Clark, 203. 269 is still there. Uh, John Rogers in second place, 271. Mark Carrington is still third. As we look back down the field, 199, Mike Clark.
Posh has now moved that thing into about turn. There he is. Mac, he's just overtaken 271, moved himself up into third place. And Mike Close is going to be unstoppable in this one, I think. Here we come. And there's 269 indeed in front. So that's the situation at the moment. It's 203, Danny Clark, the leader. 269, then 199, Mike Close. Then it's 271. And then 304 is now coming into the picture as well. That's Dave Meller, big Dave from Ashbourne in Derbyshire. He knows what he's doing. He was world champion in 1978. And this is the chap they're really going to have to chase. Can this flying blue top resist the pressure that's going to come shortly from those star men who are now getting relentlessly closer? As we look at the sheet, 17 laps have now gone of this 30 lapper. There's 269. He's still going well. John Rogers, a local lad, is carrying a lot of local support. 199 is still there. Little bit of a mistake there. Too wide. Hit the safety fence. And that is going to be the end of the race for him. There's no way he can carry on in this sort of company with a blown tyre. So 269, John Rogers. 203 then. 199, that's the leading situation at the moment. 203 is going to have a lot of pressure on him fairly shortly. 199 is now about 30 yards behind him. There's Mike Close, national points champion. That means he scored last season more points than any other driver. And that takes quite a lot of doing. Defending title holder, world champion in 1977, made the journey down from Skipton. And this is the man that he's got to catch. 203. Danny Clark. Very smart car, bit of protective iron down the sides. Very lightweight, perhaps, down towards the lower end of the weight limit, I can think, this car. Relies on speed, and he's certainly using it well. This is the man that's chasing him, and as you can see now, he's on his tail. But there they are together, 203 and 199. And Mike Close now, I think, is beginning to feel that this race must be well within his grasp. Big Dave Meller in 3.04 has now moved up into third place. And he's a little way back, but he'll be closing up on them, I think, before too long. Something like 30 or 40 yards behind, and here comes Mike. That was inevitable, I'm afraid. I think Danny there probably feels that it's better to let Mike go rather than feel the pressure of that bumper, which would have been inevitable. Give it another couple of laps, I think Mike would have become impatient and then decided that uh, he had to put the pressure on and get rid of Danny. So if Danny can move over, let him through and perhaps settle for a second place, that maybe is a wise move. So we look at the lap sheets now. The laps are ticking away. 24 laps have gone. We're coming towards the final five. And it's looking very much as if Mike Close is going to repeat the victory that we saw on World of Sport here last year. 199. Mike Close is the leader. 203. Danny Clark is second. 304. Dave Meller is third. 55. Bert Finnegan is next. Then comes 271. Mark Carrington. Then 212. Frankie Wayneman. And then it's the 36 car of Rod Folding. That's the order. And indeed, we have a situation now where 199. Mike Close is coming up to lap the world champion, number two, Willie Harrison. Willie never really been in this at all today. And in fact, Willie, I think, will be moving over in a minute or two. And certainly, I think, on this sort of form, Mike Close has got to be considered a hot favourite for the world final. So there he is, 199. Mike Close with three more laps to go. It'll be two this time. He's the leader. And it's still 203 in second place, then 304 and 55. All on his own. 199. Down the back straight he comes. Round the bottom bend. The one lap marker goes out to him now. There it is. Over the line he goes. 199. Round the pit turn for the last time, and this European title is going to be his. He's got a virtually a clear run home now. There's almost nobody in front of him. The track is clear. He comes to the final turn. The checkered flag is at the ready. It's going to be 199. Mike Close comes over the line, and 203, while we're watching that, 203, Danny Clark, who was going so well, that blue top in second place, has run into that parked car. He's got a puncture. So, indeed, now we'll check out the other places. That moves 304. Dave Beller up into third place. 55, Bert Finnegan comes up to third. 212, Frankie Wayneman is next. And then 271, Mark Carrington, the white top who went so well from the beginning, is in the next place, followed by Rod Balding in 36. But what a victory for 199. There's Danny Clark. He must be really sick because as a blue-grade driver, he really tried so hard and he was in for a jolly good uh, chance of winning this. 
and uh, unfortunately it was all to end on that final lap so there we are that's the situation 203 poor old Danny Clark uh, is unfortunately in the fence his supporters must be disappointed because it's a case of so near and so far the opposition was very very strong and he really showed that he could live with them so a terrific scrap all credits to 199 for carrying it off for the second year running 199 and Mike Close is the 1983 European Formula One champion. With a very comfortable win, there you see his uh, confirmation of success. Mike Close winning it, Dave Meller in second place, and Bert Finnegan claiming third place.